I mentioned earlier on that um, I bought a uh, Panther Lima online. Um, you can see here there's a Panther on the front cover of this publication. Mine was a, a bronze and uh, gold version, beautiful little car. But uh, I'd never heard of Panther before, so I thought I'd do some research and I bought this book. And on the back cover, there was this particular car, which is a J72. And that's when I said to the bride, if ever I find one, I'm gonna get one. And I did. Hey, my name's Cole Hayes. Um, I'm sitting here next to my 1977 Panther West Winds J72 Roadster. I only got into cars five or six years ago. I had a boat that was sitting here, not getting used, a lot of money sitting there doing nothing, so I sold it. And I was cruising eBay and I saw a, a little a model called a Panther Lima, which is a lot smaller than this one. And um, after that, I bought a book on Panthers and I saw this model in it and I said to my wife, if ever I find a Panther J72, I don't care, care whether divorce is in it or not, I'm gonna buy one. And I happened to find this one in Paradise Island on the Gold Coast. Uh, it's a 1977 model. Uh, only 364 of these cars were built, so they're quite rare. A lot of them went over to America with V12s in it. This particular car has got a 4.2 litre Jag straight six engine, which is a mighty engine. Uh, there are only four of these cars in Australia that I'm aware of. I uh, got in touch with a fellow that used to work in the Panther factory when he was a young bloke in Sussex in England and it turned out it was Roland Dane, the boss of Triple Eight Racing and he used to do all the quality assurance on these cars uh, to check them out before they went out because they were a very, very uh, popular car with movie stars. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor had one, Freddie Mercury, Elton John, even the Sultan of Brunei had one so that shows you the sort of uh, level they were in. They're quite expensive in their day. They were more expensive than a Morgan. Um, I went up to see Roland Dane and he spent about two hours with me telling me all these anecdotes about working in the Panther factory. And it's a wonderful car to drive. It's a bit of a rocket actually because it weighs just over a thousand kilos and with that E-type Jag engine in it, it goes like the clappers. And uh, my wife drives it quite often. It's got two speeds. It's either stop or, or go. And uh, I call her Penelope Pit Stop when she's driving it because she, she really enjoys the car. So as you can see, it's a beautiful looking car. It's basically modeled on an SS100 Jag from the late 30s and 40s. Um, gets comments wherever I go. The guy that I bought it off said, uh, I hope you like talking to people because you'll be doing quite a lot of that. And I, I go to the petrol station to get fuel and uh, people come up to me and ask me what it is. And the one question I hate is people come up and say, is that a Morgan, mate? <laughs> it's not a Morgan, it's a Panther. And uh, there she is. Uh, on one occasion, Jaguar told uh, the Panther people that they couldn't supply any more E-Type Jag engines because they needed them for their run of E-Type Jags. So Roland Dame was asked by his boss, given a checkbook, and told to go and buy four E-Type Jags, brand new, which he did. And they took them back to the Panther factory, ripped the engines out, put them in these cars, and then they sold the bodies off after. 
and he said that was the way it, it worked at, at Panther. Um, they had pure hand-built cars and everything was meticulous in them. All the, all the materials in them, uh, top quality from the leather seats to the carpet, engine. I mentioned earlier on that um, I bought a uh, Panther Lima online. Um, you can see here there's a Panther on the front cover of this publication. Mine was a, a bronze and uh, gold version, beautiful little car. But uh, I'd never heard of Panther before so I thought I'd do some research and I bought this book. And on the back cover there was this particular car which is a J72. And that's when I said to the bride, if ever I find one I'm going to get one. And I did. <laughs> 